Um, breakfast, we have nothing in our bowls. Even though it's not fasting day, uh, we're running a little bit late today, so we... <laughs> you are so weird. What do you mean? We haven't started breakfast yet. Russ has his banana sitting here, but that's as far as we've got. Yes, I have a banana. They're singing? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Apparently they're singing. Um, so I don't know if you, if you are aware or not, but uh, McDonald's had a free bacon hour yesterday. Oh, boy. <laughs> Where apparently you could go in and request that they add bacon to anything and they would add it for free. Right. A, what hey, that basically means is the pig farmers of the world have way too much bacon, so they had to give it away. Do something with it. Yes, exactly. And so um, I posted a, a, a thing about there were a few doctors who went and actually protested that they had signs that were saying they had one that said um, bacon gives you butt cancer because it is linked directly to colorectal cancer. Right. And the, um, the WHO, the World Health Organization, recently came out and said that it is a type 1 carcinogen. Right. We've told you that before. Same as cigarettes. Yes. What is Valley? I mean, it... Your posts on that. I know. People lose their minds, don't they, Valerie? Yeah, it's crazy. Like, people are losing their minds. Right. So, the, go ahead. I was say, the, health or, the, the World Health Organization's report basically said processed meats are carcinogenic. They basically came out and said it will cause cancer. Um, and then specifically, when I started naming it, bacon is the very first one that they say. Yeah. yeah, just don't. So they're right up there. Bacon's right up there with um, with cigarettes as far as it being linked to cancer. And um, I so I posted that there were because there were several doctors who who did go out and protest. They had signs and the whole thing. Talked to the news media, and so I posted about that. And there was a woman who um, posted an article that said bacon is healthy. <laughs> and I was like, what? And so I got, I was have, trying to have a conversation with her. Um, she didn't want to have a conversation with me. She wanted to yell at me, but I'm trying to have a conversation with her. And she said that bacon is paleo, so you should eat it. And I explained to her that I seriously doubt that um, paleolithic humans were eating bacon. I don't think that that was a thing, um, but that they were definitely eating, um, you know, sca scavenging and doing that. So roadkill, she could definitely do that. Yes. She didn't appreciate that I suggested she not eat bacon, but that if she wanted to eat like paleo man, she should eat roadkill. I thought it was pretty funny, yeah. but she didn't think it was funny. Um, and so then she told me that it's impossible to talk to people who are indoctrinated. And um, good morning, Chuck. Morning, Chuck. The Who is a band. It's true. That is they your are. Yeah. <laughs> they, and they don't, I don't know if they have an opinion about bacon or no, not. There's even the guess who. That, that's true. Um, what was I saying now? I got distracted by Chuck. Oh. <laughs> so was, anyway, she was saying that... Um, that eating bacon was healthy and that she recommended it to her clients. And she told me, I'm a functional medicine practitioner. I don't okay. know exactly what that I means. I don't think that's a thing, but okay. Well, it obviously is. She well, decided for her it, it was. Yes. Um, but so here's the problem with, you know, McDonald's giving away bacon is that it, it feeds into our society's um, craze with bacon, which I don't understand. I never did. Even when, you know, before we changed our diet, mm -hmm. I never understood the insanity around bacon. Um, I don't know if you know this or not, but the nitrates, which are one of the things in bacon that are really, really bad for you, they put it in there to keep, a, keep it pink. Otherwise it would be gray. Otherwise it would be an unappetizing yeah, color. Right. So, um, and that's the concern that you know the, the industry has is that well if they eliminate the nitrates which are what cause cancer and are you know part of not entirely but part of what cause cancer it's not going to be pretty right and i saw that article yesterday um that was on twitter and i commented on it that talked about the, the meat industry getting together and, and having a response to this world health organization saying that basically it's cancer causing and the whole conversation wasn't about you know um battlegrounds what are we going to do and all that stuff it was more about okay, what other chemicals can we figure out that we can put into it that aren't on our list of carcinogenics that then we can just say, well, okay, we fixed it until we discover that those are also carcinogenic. Right, until and, we find out. Otherwise. Right, and that's, yeah. that's the game they play. They just, they just shift around a little bit to try to make the product still sellable because you're talking about a lot of money. Billions of dollars. Yeah, a yeah. lot of money that's that, um, in that industry. It is. It's unfortunate. And, mean, it, and, and the, thing, the thing for me is if you want to choose to eat bacon... That's on yeah, you. Yeah, it's on you. If you want to choose to smoke, that's on you. Now, we're going to just overlook the issue that that creates with the um, health insurance and health care and all of that, that people are doing things that are then causing them to be sick, that they know are going to make them sick, and then that increases health care for all of us. 
We're not gonna talk about. I can't. I just. I can't get on that soapbox because I'll be here for an hour because that makes me crazy. But so I'm just gonna overlook that issue and I'm gonna say. If you want to smoke or if you want to eat bacon, then you know what? Fine. And if if you want to support McDonald's in their you know free bacon hour, that's fine. That's on you. But don't tell me it's healthy. Right. Don't tell other people it's healthy. And by all means, don't lie to yourself that it's healthy. Mm -hmm. That's it's just that's ludicrous. If you're going to make that choice, then fine. Make it, but, but, but don't, don't lie about it. And, and you know, well, you know what it is. People are always trying to justify their bad decisions, right? I mean, right. That's what it comes down to. I mean, to. this one isn't even neutral. No, it's, it's, make no mistake about it. It is cancer causing. I mean, processed meats, I mean, yes, don't eat any meat products. We, we always say that, but, you know, start with processed meats. They are cancer causing. That's just, I yeah. mean. And you know, know that McDonald's isn't using some great, wonderful, high quality thing. Like they're no. using the cheapest thing they can get their hands on, especially it's if they're giving it It's why they can sell away. a burger for a dollar or whatever the heck it is. Right. You know? Well, and it's subsidized too. Right. Beef is subsidized. Right. But I'm saying there's reasons so. why they can sell it so cheap because they get cheap products. Yep. Absolutely. You know? And so I'm, I'm very interested to see kind of what the... Um, what the results are of their, you know, free bacon hour because I mean I know obviously there are doctors who are saying that that's not a good idea and you shouldn't eat it and they're protesting and whatever but I think that the average person is like ooh free bacon yay I mean based on the and you guys if you follow me on Facebook you know like people lose their minds about bacon I've gotten to the point where I don't actually even want to use the word bacon I want to say processed meat because people just lose their minds. Well, and we know, we've experienced that you go out to eat. I, I dare you to find a plate that doesn't have bacon included. It does seem like they like to add it to everything. That and cheese. Cheese and bacon on sneeze. everything. Oh, he's going to sneeze. Bless you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so, did you guys, like, did you see the advertisements for this? Did, was it a thing where you are? Do you know anybody who uh, used it? Was there any conversation? Bless you twice. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, yeah, for, for us, it's frustrating, and I because I feel like... Being in the space that we're in, like everybody's aware that you should eat less animal products and everybody knows and everybody's trying to move that direction and then something like this happens and I'm like, clearly not everybody knows. Well, it's the confusion and things like this adds to the confusion. I don't think everybody understands it. I've, obviously the people that watch us that are into this space understand it because they've taken the time to learn it. Right. I think the general public, which is the larger majority of the population, is either trying to, either carries a blind eye to it or just doesn't know. I and mean, they assume that products that we buy at a supermarket or at some restaurants have been somehow um, regulated. Like, like they, they've been the government's inspected protecting and us. And they must be yeah. safe because they're feeding it to us. And I think yeah. that is, and I don't like to use the word gullible, but I think that is the perception that most, that the general public have. And that's unfortunate. It's, it's unfortunate. unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think people have the same opinion about smoke and people that do smoke. Yeah, they know it's cancer causing, but you know, would the government really allow them to sell it if it was that bad? It's got a huge warning label on it. Yes, but still, I, I, <laughs> and this is this is what I mean though. I think the perception for the general public is that, you know, and I think people we're being too, looked after. People to forget, like they 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 feel like, well, it won't happen to me. Mm -hmm. It's not that won't be a thing for me, and I and especially when you're young, it's easy to feel that yeah, way. So indestructible. Um, and what and whatnot. So I think that that's part of it, and that's one of the, th the things I talk about in the book is we have to get over this idea that we can just do whatever and we'll live forever. Like, and keep in mind, we are we are like. I don't know how to say this. We're like the least lived people. We don't live long compared to lots of other parts of the world. That's true. And, and when people, places where you think it's like poverty and, and you feel like you, you just assume they're not living long, are living past their hundreds on like a regular basis because they're eating. As long as they eat well and they don't suffer right. from communicable diseases. Yeah, yes, exactly. So yeah. obviously there are places where that's the case. But I'm saying, you know, like a lot of third world countries where they, people live a very, very long time. So Chuck sent us an article written by a biologist. Okay, uh -huh. I'll take a look at it and uh, I'll see what it, what they what the biologists have to say. Right. But yeah, it, the whole thing just scares me. Uh, it scares me that big corporations are using something that is a known carcinogenic to promote their business, and it's like a big party. It's like a laugh. Like, oh, this is what we're doing. Load it up, people. And Back it, up it, the truck. It Ooh. frustrates me that we're allowing it. Yes. I, I, up the I know, you are so strange. 
Um, it frustrates me that we, we allow it. It frustrates me that when we talk about it, people try to, like somebody actually call, was like, well, you're just a vegan, so you're indoctrinated. What do you know? And I'm like, hey, first of all, I'm not vegan. Right. I, and, and I have no problem with people who are vegan, but I am not ethically vegan. I am plant-based. And if you're telling me that you don't like the WHO, the World Health Organization, and you feel like um, they're wrong, they're and you're arguing you. with me that the World Health Organization is wrong about bacon, I don't think I'm the one that's indoctrinated here. I don't think that that's where the problem lies. Yes. So it's frustrating to me, and so I, I felt like I wanted to come on here today and just kind of talk about how annoying it is that big bi big business is continuing to make money on the fallacy that bacon is this great and wonderful thing after it's already been declared right. carcinogen. And I, I just the other thing, one more thing I want to add is if you really think about it, so there's a lot of money in big food, right? The dairy, the, the, you know, the, yeah. all these animal Beef. products, they have billions of dollars to throw at people to say, we want you to think this way. And they do that, mm -hmm. all right? So for an organization like the World Health Organization to come out and say, you know, because I am sure they have people pressuring them not to come out with this stuff. Mm -hmm. To come out there and say, that's like, you know, crossing the line for big in, big industry. You know? That's like yeah. saying, we got to do what's right for the people. We can't worry about who's patting our pockets. I think tomorrow we should talk about Canada's new um, food Sounds good. Thing that, that's good. Canada just came out with a new how you should eat right. thing, and it, it's, it's phenomenal. Right. I mean, they're not all the way there, but it's close. Right. And the other thing I want to add is, unfortunately, in this country, our politicians and our organizations are supposed to be looking at us are influenced by big food. Big money, yeah. You know, two things happen. Either the lobbyists are spending tons of money with politicians to make sure they get their way, or the people that are on these councils are ex-people that used to be in the industry, or the people on the councils wind up getting cushy, cushy jobs with the industry. I mean, it's a vicious cycle that is out to it's protect big industry. Yeah. And, you know, and it's not just food, but that's what we're talking about. Yeah. So we didn't get on that soapbox I'm today. Sorry, I went on the soapbox. Soapboxes. But, but it does aggravate me. Sometimes. It does. It's frustrating. So yeah, um, we're we're very disappointed um, that McDonald's is using that, and that I I am annoyed that we as a culture allow it to right. allow businesses to treat us. So that we way. stay right now. Let's boycott McDonald's. Oh well, when was the last time we ate at McDonald's? <laughs> well, I boycotted it for about 35 years, but still. <laughs> I don't think we ate at McDonald's. Still. But oh, we have another comment. Let me scroll down, Chuck. Looked at the ingredients of that almond milk yogurt. It seems to still be very processed. Yeah, I mean, that's true, and we can have a conversation about that another right. day too. But right. Chuck was telling me about almond milk yogurt because I was wondering, well, what is it? Send me a picture of the ingredients. And um, yeah, it is a processed food. There's no doubt. It's not dairy. Right. And the problem with just usually these plant milks in general, especially if you buy them from your local supermarket, is they're very processed. And they have they oil have, and sugar. They have a lot of additives. So we always say if you're going to use that type of thing. You can A, either make it yourself, and I understand that that's probably not convenient for most people, but if you go to a health food store or, you know... Look for one with less ingredients. Look for one with less ingredients. Buy the yeah. one that has the least amount of ingredients in it. Yeah, absolutely. So, anyway, that's what we wanted to talk about today, because we could go on a tangent. Sorry for the rant, folks. And we're 15 minutes in almost already, so we will let them get on with their day. You but guys I know... Grind my gears. Yes, I know. Our website is rnrjourney.com. Make sure that you you go over there, join our newsletter, which out, went out this morning. I sent out a recipe this morning, so go to rnrjourney.com and become I a see member. Mark sneaked on. Mark is did pop on. We see him there. Hi, Mark. How you doing? Um, and join our newsletter so that you make sure that you get it every Wednesday morning when we send it out. Um, and bec become a member to get access to our community page and all the other content that we provide for our clients. If you are a member, I did post the. Um, recipe for the sweet potato lasagna picture that I posted. So if you're a member, you can go grab that. It is not a hard recipe, but it is time consuming like lasagna is in general. Okay. But that one is up there. And so is Russ's Italian meal, which is right. an easy and easy, fast Easy, quick throw together and boy does it taste good. So those recipes are up. If you're a member, you can go get those. And our webinar is at howtofeedahuman.com if you are interested in um, learning more and getting a right. foundation. Oh, Mark's saying hi. He's agreeing hey, Mark. with us. That's nice. We like it when people agree with us. I don't like it when people fight with me about silly things. Is you anything else I forgot? Oh, share and right. like and make sure that you turn on notifications. Yeah, all posts. <laughs> so uh, that way you'll get to see us regularly. We appreciate all of you being here. Thanks so much right. for listening to us complain about McDonald's and bacon and, and big industry, big industry. And <laughs> government and all and that good stuff. Tomorrow we'll talk about the, um, the new Canada food 
I don't know what they're calling it. It's a it's their food pyramid, isn't it? Is it's not a pyramid, pyramid, but it's yeah, their food. It's their thing. same type of thing. Um, we're going to talk about it and what they got right, what they could do a little better, and how they're so much better than what, what our government tells yeah, us exactly. here in America. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. Right. Anything else? I think that's it. All right, we should go make our breakfast. Yes, as you can see, I keep looking, but there's nothing in there. We're running behind. Yeah. All right. All right. So with that, we will say, eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, Have guys. Have a good one. Stay warm again. Yes.